Hey, hi, Lindsay. Um, it gives me great pleasure to introduce everyone to Lindsay Taylor, the new chair of the Board of Interface Scotland. Lindsay, I wonder if you would say a few words just about how you feel about being the chair of Interface Scotland at this time. Hi, yes, of course. Thank you so much. I am so deeply honoured to have been selected as the chair. I have been on the board now for, for a year um, and um, this is the first year that I'm going into that I will be the chair so it is very exciting um, and very humbling to have been asked to be chair. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah. What do you think is the important thing about Interface at the moment, you know, um, why, why would you want to be involved in Interface Scotland and be chair of the board? Oh, do you know, I think it's so important to be involved in into faith. Um, I think everybody, whether you have a faith or not, and no matter what faith you're from, you should be involved in interfaith work. It is really important that we all come together. We can learn so much from each other, from each other's religions, from each other's um, faith practices, from, from everything we can really learn. But also it really helps to, to build bridges and, and to, to help people to come together as one, um, and to stop there being any kind of distance between us. So I think it's so important for us all to be involved in the interfaith work. You've actually come on board as chair of the board just um, just under, well, just over a month, actually. It'll be Scottish Interfaith Week. Every year we have a theme. This year's theme for Scottish Interfaith Week is connecting. How do you feel about connecting, particularly now at this time of global pandemic? How important do you think it is? Oh gosh, um, so important, you know, especially at the start of, of lockdown and the start of um, the coronavirus uh, pandemic, people really did start to show their true colours and fortunately those colours were beautiful. People were coming out and they were helping each other and supporting each other, you know, communities were coming together and faith groups had a massive role in that, you know, our mosques, our churches, our synagogues, they were all closed down. We weren't able to go and pray in, in our usual way. And instead, people found other ways to connect with their own faith communities, but also with the wider community. And that was lovely. Unfortunately, as, as it's going on, um, and we're now not so much in lockdown, and we are able to, to go back to our mosques and our churches and things, we're, we're maybe not seeing quite as much as, as what we were seeing at the beginning. So it's so important that you know, things like Interfaith Week are coming upon us and they're encouraging this connection. They're encouraging us to keep doing the amazing work that, that the faith groups and the wider community have been doing. So to me, having Interfaith Week is so important and especially with the theme of, of connecting um, because it is so important that all communities come together, that individuals come together and that we come together as our own faith groups, as different faith groups, and with the wider community, it's so important that we carry on all these connections that we that we have started and, and that we can keep them going, which would be really brilliant. Thank you, Lindsay. It's great. Yes, Scottish Interfaith Week really is an exciting time. And for those that are not sure when it is, it's from the 8th to the 15th of November. And there'll be lots of exciting things on um, the Scottish Interfaith Week website, lots of events to attend. But please also um, hold, hold an event during Scottish Interfaith Week and upload it. So. Thanks for sharing your thoughts and connecting. It really is very important. And Lindsay, welcome to the board of Interface Scotland. We look forward to working with you uh, in the years to come. Thanks.